Okay, this is a short video on the Unix script command, which you may be using to turn in um, your submissions for your programming assignments. So the script command it makes a transcript of part of a Unix session. So that's where script comes from. It's just the part of the word transcript. Um, if you say transcript, and then give a file name. Uh, it will start recording to that file. If that file doesn't exist, it will create it. If that file does exist, it will overwrite it. Now, if you have a script file and you want to add more to that, you can use the dash A option, which stands for append. And like I said, you will most likely be using the script command to turn in um, one program, one homework assignment, but possibly all of your programming assignments. So what happens is this records your session from the time you start the script with the script command until you either type exit or a control D to um, indicate that you're done with the recording. Uh, when you're making a script, literally everything you type is recorded in the script. So if you do type something, do some backspacing, type something else, do some backspacing, all those backspace characters are going to be uh, recorded. And if you do any control characters, they will be recorded as, as, a well, as well. And, you know, if you have a few of those in your script, it's not a big deal. If you have a whole bunch, it can make it very hard to read. The other thing is you need to be careful because you get in this mode of where, you know, I'm editing program one, I'm running program one, oh, I have an error, I edit program one, I run program one again, and I finally get it to work and I'm like great I'm ready to turn this in script space program one um, and when you hit return it would destroy your program so you need to be very careful and either always use the dash a option um, so that way you might inadvertently put some extra garbage at the end of your programming assignment but you could go in and delete that out uh, as opposed to destroying your your program so you need to be really really careful I've had students before say challenge accepted you know I'm gonna make it the whole semester and be your first student not to accidentally destroy my program and down the road you know more than three-quarters of the way through the semester that particular student came back and said I sorry I have to admit I actually did destroy my program that I was working on with the script command. Um, so very handy tool. You just need to be a little bit uh, careful with it.